Okay, the real long bolt that goes through the new bracket, it's a real long bolt and it comes over here um, and hits just about here so you have to sneak that um, the head of that bolt in to get that bolt to line up and then shove through the bracket and the alternator mounting ear on the bottom and then out the back side but once you do that it's pretty uh, pretty easy to get wrenches and things like that on there now now up in here I've got the I've got the uh, plastic splash uh, panel removed from uh, the uh, car while I've been doing all of this engine work once I put that uh, plastic splash pan back up um, it kind of comes out down around here and it'll give some splash protection to the alternator the uh, the stock alternator that was in there you know that's got a little uh, plastic splash shield that bolts onto the uh, the lower bracket and then the uh, the upper uh, adjustment arm and uh, this bracket doesn't have that facility and um, also I think that the alternator the body of the alternator um, right up in this part right here is uh, bigger so I don't think that the uh, stock um, plastic splash shield would even fit back in this uh, this configuration as no no matter to me um, I, I don't drive this car in the rain anyway so uh, uh, you can kind of see on the shiv that I needed that um, I needed that four groove um, shiv right there to get the distance that I needed away from the alternator it's got to come out by oh maybe an eighth of an inch or a little more than an eighth of an inch um, towards the outside of that pulley to uh, get the belt to line up suitably so basically this conversion has uh, you know it's been pretty uh, pretty easy once you select all of the right parts that's a uh, you know 90% of anything is getting the right parts to, that you can bolt on. I'll get more um, about the parts and the selections and the prices and stuff like that um, at the end uh, of the video. Right now I'm going to shut this down, I'm going to tighten up the bottom, then I'm going to go up and tighten up the top and adjust the tension on the belt and um, then start working on the wiring.